as their labels imply, stories of magic, of creatures that fly. With giants and dragons and ogres and elves, and inanimate objects that speak for themselves. danger and plotting of schemes. There's good guys and bad guys and some guys in between. A fairy tale also reveals some sort of truth. The perils of choices we face in our youth. But our story today is different in theme. For our hero had no choice. Or so it would seem. Showing a spell. This one's for a baby named Ella of Frell. Now, now, Ella, mother's here. There now. Oh, dear Ella. Oh, it's nothing a little burping will cure. Up. Come on, all the way. I gotta work on that. Whoa! Hello, ladies. Lucinda. Oh, she gets the worst gifts. Not if she can't find the baby. Whoa! Oh. Ah, Lucinda here. Fairy par, excellent. Now, where's the baby? At her grandmother's. At, at her grandmother's? Walk. She's walking at her grandmother's. Well, either way, as you can see, she's not here. Oh, look. She's back. <laughs> All right. Aww. What shall we give this beautiful little child today? What's her name again? Ella. Ah, Ella a friend. <laughs> not a very well-behaved little stinker, is she? Quiet, please. I can't concentrate here. Hello, Frel. I give you the gift of obedience. Now go to sleep. Now, wake up. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? No, it's terrible. It's a terrible gift to have to do what you're told. Take it back. I have a no return policy. And if you're going to be ungrateful, I can always turn her into a squirrel instead. A squirrel? No, obedience is a lovely gift. <laughs> Besides, you should thank me. I've just given you the perfect child. <laughs> <laughs> In spite of the spell, Ella grew up strong of mind. Her gift made her obedient, but her heart made her kind. Why don't you go back to where you came from? Yeah, Arita, what a stupid name. Nobody wants you here. I do. Fight me. <laughs> did you see what Ella did? I made your favorite. So dig in and stuff your face. I'm gonna get forks. Sweetie, stop! I always knew something was wrong with me. Can you take the spell back? You're a fairy. I'm only a household fairy, honey. And besides, according to fairy guidelines, only the fairy who gave you the gift can take it back. And we've begged her. And not only that, but she said she'd turn your mother into a squirrel and take away my eternal youth if we ever asked her again. It's not fair. I know, darling. I know. So Ella now knew why she'd always obeyed. But she never stopped fighting to have things her way. Ella, come practice your mandolin. Fine, but I'll take my own sweet time doing it. Hurry up now! As she struggled to find a way out of her gift, she had no way of knowing. Something worse was adrift. Please get well, Mother. Listen to me. Only Mandy 
And I know about the gift. We've never even told your father. And you must never tell anyone else. I don't want anyone using it against you. Mother, please! Remember, no matter what anyone says or tells you to do, look to yourself, Ella. What's inside you is stronger than any spell. Always be with you. Hello? Your father would like to speak to you. You're married? She has money, Ella. She's very fond of my title. It was either get married or sell the house. You'll adore Dame Olga and her two daughters. She'll make a wonderful mother. Well, a mother like figure. Look, I'm sure you'll all be the best of friends. Is this the right address? There must be some mistake. My dear, welcome. Mm. And these must be your lovely daughters. My precious Hattie. And my special Olive. Mm. Oh. And you must be Ella. Pleased to meet you. Yes. The house looks delightful. But I do seem to remember that at the nobleman's convention you said that you lived in a castle. No, I said a man's home is his castle. <gasps> Hi, I'm Ella. Um, welcome to Fell. That's what the prince fan up. Hattie's president of the Prince Tar Fan Club. <laughs> you know, Char and his uncle are responsible for the segregation of the kingdom. So? He's dreamy. <laughs> Is this hush meant to be a closet? Mm. It's pathetic. My clothes need more room than this. <sighs> we'll have to use yours. What? Show it to us. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> oh, there's no room in here either. We're gonna have to throw out some of your gowns to make room. Oh. Wait, get away from there! Get away! <gasps> oh! What's this? I do actually like this. Please don't touch it, it was my mother's. Can I have it? No. Oh. It can be your welcome gift to me. <laughs> Come on, hand it over. <laughs> oh, aren't you accommodating? <laughs> the second I sell the last of these, I'll be back. I promise. I know it's not a great job, not even a good job. Okay, even a monkey could do it. But we need the money, huh? I miss your father. I'll miss you too. Ogres and humans used to exist in harmony. But when King Florian was killed, allegedly, by an ogre, Sir Edgar saw it as an opportunity to exile all non-human creatures to the forest, keeping their land for himself. Passionately put, Ella, give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, Hattie? Uh. What my unworthy opponent fails to realize is Sir Edgar has done a fantastic job. Yeah. He has driven the ogres out, and he has put giants and elves to work as labourers and entertainers. Therefore, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't have today's thriving free enterprise system. Oh, it's only free because we've enslaved the poor creatures and they're forced to work for nothing. Oh. Edgar is a monster, and I don't hold out much hope for his nephew either. Oh, well, that shows what you know, a.k.a. nothing. 
Prince Char will be the greatest king ever. <laughs> right, girls? Yeah. 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 I wonder if my opponent has based her opinion on the prince's politics or how cute she thinks his butt is. <laughs> <sighs> Just admit you're stupid and don't know what you're talking about. I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about. Ella? Anyway, uh... In conclusion... Hold your tongue, Ella. Ella! <laughs> <laughs> My tongue it is. <laughs> well, if you're not going to take this seriously, I have no choice but to declare Hattie the winner. Yeah. Uncle, do I have to go to this mall opening? As heir to the throne, it's your royal responsibility, child. You are a public figure, after all. Yes, but you're the one in charge. Only for a little while, though. Yeah? Your coronation is next week. Mm. You need to be out there with the people, Charlie. Yes, shaking hands and kissing babies. Yeah, exactly, Heston. <laughs> so the people can learn to trust us. What's not to trust? Nothing. But while you've been away at school, Char, the kingdom has been under siege. Mm. In your absence, the ogres have become impossible. He's right. Even the giants have become more and more treacherous. The giants have always been peaceful. The ogres were peaceful too, until they ripped your father to shreds. And I promised your father, should anything happen to him, I would take care of you and the kingdom. And, well, I've kept my promise, haven't I? Likewise, you must keep your promise to the people. Now, Put on a smile. Remember, image is everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here in your charming town of uh, Frel. Prince Charmant and I. My great pleasure to welcome my nephew, Prince Charmo. Please, call, call me Char. I'm sorry uh, about that. Occupational hazard. Allow me. You don't need your chivalry. Thanks. I have no intention of curtsying either, so forget it. Well, you can curtsy or not. That's your choice. There's really nothing I can do about it, except for have you beheaded. But that seems a bit extreme. Charming, why don't you do what your people usually do? Steal my land and destroy my livelihood. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait a second. Come back here. Huh? What is your name? Well, Ella of Frel, you're the first maiden I've met who hasn't swooned at the sight of me. Then maybe I've done you some good. Look, I've never stolen anyone's land or livelihood. I, I want peace in the kingdom as much as anyone. So you have a new plan once you take the crown? Well, well sort of. Of course, I couldn't reveal it to a subject. <laughs> That's what I thought. You're all just the same. You care more about your fan club and your next jousting tournament. No, actually, I've never been comfortable with the whole adoring fan club thing. Perhaps that's why I find your obvious disdain for me so refreshing. Obvious? I was trying so hard to hide it. Where's my purse? It's back there. Wait right there. I will get it. Uh... Are you 
crazy? Why didn't you move? I would have. Were it not for your apparent fascination with knocking me to the ground, that's oh. the second time today, you realize? Oh, well, I'll try and be more considerate next time I'm saving you. Next time, what makes you think we'll see each other again? Well, no. Tell her, Afro, you, you are not like other girls. <laughs> you have no idea. Hello? Come here. It's me he's going to have at his coronation. Yeah, in the middle of the table with an apple in your mouth. Go back to the moon with all that. Oh. oh. Ella. Oh. Don't bother with her. Ooh. I'm the one you want. Oh. I know everything about you. I I've got posters of you and pictures. And when we used to live in Namia, I used to stand outside your castle and watch you turn your lights on and on. <sighs> Tell Ella I'll be in touch with <laughs> you. Right, I'll see to that. Where were you? Oh, I met the prince. You met the prince? Yes, I don't want to talk about it, though. Olive and Hattie were there. Oh, Why do you always do what Hattie tells you to do? I don't. You no, do. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Tell the truth. Oh, I do. Olive, have you noticed anything strange about Ella? No, not really. Have you noticed it gets darker at night, then lighter when the sun comes up? That's because of Ella! Never mind. You've been acting kind of odd lately, Ellie. Really, for you. What do you mean? Well, you see me? That's what I mean. Uh-huh. Rita, no! Ella! Come here! What? I need you to do me a little favor. Take that. Take that. And that potion bottle. <laughs> okay. That's enough. I think that's for me to say, Ella. We need one more thing. Take those. Please don't make me do this. Oh, well, since you said please, um, no. Take them. Take them. <laughs> Promises, promises. You are a disgrace. Maybe she was put up to it. Mandy's right, Mother. We were there. It really wasn't poor Ella's fault at all. She was forced to do it. So, Ella, who put you up to it? Oh, I'm waiting. Tell me who's to blame. A reader. <laughs> A reader! I might have guessed it. You are forbidden ever to see her again. What? Oh, Ella? How dare she come here now? Answer the door and tell her that you never want to see her again. <gasps> and tell her you could never be friends with an Aorthian. <laughs> oh, no, Dame Olga, there must be some mistake. Please, Dame Olga. Don't argue, just do it. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're all right. What's wrong? I never want to see you again. Ha <laughs> oh, ha, very funny. I don't understand. We're best friends. I could never. 
never be friends with an Aorthian. Just go. <laughs> I've done terrible things before Mandy, but this is the worst thing the curse has ever made me do. I gotta do it. I have got to find Lucinda and get her to take back the curse. You're right. I have something to show you. This is gonna help you find her. I should have told you about this years ago. But I was a little embarrassed. Embarrassed how? Well, as you know, I'm not the most talented fairy. Anyway, this book is my boyfriend, <laughs> Benny. Hey! <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet anyone, quite frankly. You're the first introduction I've had in 20 years. I've never seen anything like this. I know no one has. I don't want them to. Just then they might take them away. It was an accident. I was, I was just trying to spell to trim his hair, and it went a little askew. I would have left her ages ago. Except I love her so darn much, plus I have no legs. Mm. I love you too, my little pookie pages. Not as much as I love you, cuddle buns. Oh, I love you more. Okay, uh, lots of love. Moving on. Well, I want you to take him with you. You mean I'm getting out of here? Beyond these four walls? Oh, there's so many places in my pages I've been wanting to visit. Oh, well, what is all this? He knows everything. Thanks, sweetie, but not everything. If I did, I'd be a lot thicker. Can you show me anything about Lucinda? Can I show you anything about Lucinda? Watch this. Show me Lucinda. Ta-da! Cool trick. Um, now, which crockery barn? They're all over the kingdom. Ah, that's the glitch. He can't tell you where a person is. He can just show you pictures. You know, like a crystal ball or a magic mirror. That thing is so huge. Is that a wedding registry? <gasps> They're in Giant Bell. <gasps> Look, she's going to a wedding in Giantville. Benny, we're going to Giantville. Oh, how exciting. Ella, the Giles and I need bouquets for our portrait sitting tomorrow. Go and pick some. scratch their newly found itches. Ella was off. Glad to be rid of the witches. Benny, can you show me a map of the forest with him? Of course. Whoa. Uh, according to this map, if we head due east towards Monster Rock, we can cut half a day off our journey. What was that? Probably something that wants to eat us. Ouch. Yeah. Missed. What did you think you're doing to that poor elf? Oh, who's that so thinks she's so tough? Uh, look, I think it's only fair to warn you that I'm practiced in the ancient art of origami. Paper folding? Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Don't let him scare you, sweetheart. Kick his butt! <laughs> the rabbit punch! <laughs> This chick is nuts! Let's get out of here! I think I'm gonna puke! Uh, let me help you with that. Uh, I'm gonna need so much therapy after this! Uh! Oh! Are you okay? No, I am not okay! I think I broke something, or dislocated it, or... No, no, just a quick... Slamming of Pim! Ella and Fro, nice to meet you. Uh. Um, well, if you're okay, then uh, I have to be going, but good luck. You're going? You can't walk in this wood on your own. How about a bite to eat? Uh, that's very sweet, but I'm on a tight schedule. Oh, okay, okay. fine. Yeah, message received, miss. I think I'm all that. No, that's not what I meant well, at I all. I understand the hand of friendship to, like, a company and give you some kind of... Yeah, whatever, everybody's very not. busy I would nowadays. love to have dinner with Great. you. I've got a coupon. Uh, but, uh... Oh! <laughs>
Oh, that's right. Because elves are supposed to be so happy and joyful all the time. Singing and dancing for the man. I don't want to be an entertainer. I want to be a... What? Nothing. No, what were you going to say? Forget it. It's silly. Please tell me. I want to be a lawyer. I guess that would be in small claims court. What is that? Uh, nothing. <clears throat> Why can't you be a lawyer? Hello? Elf? I forgot the... Elf in restrictions, Sir Edgar passed. No elf shall be engaged in any occupation other than singing, juggling, and or Tom Foolery. They're never going to let me go to law school. I'm never going to get my day in court. Never going to stand in front of the judge and say, No, you're out of order. You're out of order. Permission to approach the bench. I object. No, I object. I heard it there. It's coming from the book. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Ha! Great. I knew it. A talking book. Good. Because, like, for a minute there, I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. What are you doing with all those things? Just a little tidying up. What's that? What? Nothing? Of course not. A letter for Ella? Hmm. Prince's carnation ball. <gasps> He's invited that insolent little snip. Girls, go and dust off your ball gowns and pack your bags. I think I may have found you another chance at your future husband. So you can really show me anything anywhere in the kingdom? Well, you're kind of like a walking token encyclopedia. Well, except for the walking part. <laughs> What's going on? Edgar's soldiers rounding up elf and singers. They'll be forced to perform at the coronation. Get in. And you. Oh. Slatin, you've got to go to a mayor and petition the prince. The what? To go to law school. You've got to stop this. You want me to go to Lamia on my own? We're going to giant bell. It's on the way. You should come with us. The prince will never grant an audience with an elf. They think we're a joke. You know, I've met Prince Charmant, and I think he might be different than his uncle. Oh. Why? Because he's a hunk. No. <laughs> what is he, uh, like about six foot? Yeah, about. Yeah, I hate the guy already. I'm not wasting my time. Ah, lacking courage as well as height. Count me in. Elves aren't that short, you know. That's just a myth created by that stupid elves and the shoemaker story. Do I look like I'm small enough to fit inside a shoe? No. Stinking grim brothers. Are you sure he knows where he's going? Hey, I'm not here. Just because I'm a book doesn't mean I don't have ears. Boys, if you can't be nice, you can't hold it up. <laughs> oh, no. The rustling always comes before the screaming and the running. I knew this was going to happen. I just find pieces of us scattered across the forest floor. Oh, a bunny. You know, the last known case of a bunny attack was, well, never. <laughs> never hurts to be on your guard. Mm. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. I've got this in hand. Oi! You! Humper! Out of the forest are no more carrots for you. I don't like carrots. Uh, how do you feel about rabbits? Because one just went that away. I am the ogre, Nish. How do you like to be eaten? Baked? Boiled? Shish kebab? How about free range? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, uh, Ella Frell, hi, how you doing? Um, I think there's a mistake here. <laughs> See, uh, I'm Frell Ogre. 
pro ogre. Absolutely. I led a rally on your behalf the other day. Maybe you heard about it? It'll only hurt for a moment. I promise. I'm a fast eater. <laughs> Help. Help. From a human. Humans took everything from us. I was an ogre of leisure. But a simple life. Next thing you know. Oh, no. Not this again. This. Hurry up. Human star. <laughs> right. You. Into the pot. Forget that. <laughs> Who are you? I am the ogre. Nish. Mm -hmm. We just did this. And we just do this. All right, that's enough fun and games. Now keep your mouth shut and don't move. Is it boiling yet? It's not going to boil if you stand there looking at it. Couldn't you show a picture of a big ogre heading our way? I mean, that would have been helpful. Ow, oh, ow! Oh, I think I see bubbles. <laughs> monsters who killed my father. King Florian was a good man. We lived in peace during his reign. Why would he kill him? 